hey guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is lisa lexis today i'm going to be showing you guys how i installed this orange bob wig from shein let's get into it so this is the box the wig came in i thought that the packaging was really cute even though i broke the box before i even opened it but this is a 13 by 4 straight lace front bob wig it's 150 density the color is s350b and this is the 12 inch there is one other color it's kind of red and you can also get this wig in a 10 inch or 14 inch the search id is 120.16.453. You can use the code wigs for you to get a free gift bag and it comes with all the supplies you need to install your wig. It came with lace tint, wig caps, a rat tail comb, an edge brush, a wax stick, and an edge band. So my first impressions pulling this out of the hairnet, I was like, this is so looking bright like from the picture the hair looked more like a ginger color which is what I was expecting but it was actually like a lot brighter and as you can see in this moment I'm kind of like second guessing if this is even going to turn out okay on my head but we're here now we got to commit but the first thing I do is go in with my Fenty powder and I color the entire wig cap. You can skip this step if you have a wig cap that is closer to your skin tone. After that, I'm going in with my Got To Be Free spray and I use a generous amount on the front of the cap. After that, I'm going to pull the wig over so that the wig sticks to the free spray. This is a glueless method. This wig was so bright. I knew I wasn't going to be able to wear it for a long time. So I just did a glueless method with the got to be free spray. After I have the wig in a place that I want it, I go and I spray the perimeter of the wig one more time just to help with the security of the wig since this is the glueless method. After that, I tie my hair up with a hair clip and then I put the elastic band on. I then use a blow dryer just to help expedite the drying process of the edges. But before I take the edge bin off, I use hair straightening spray, heat protectant. It can be any brand. I probably just picked up the cheapest brand and you don't have to use too much of this because it will make the hair oily. But I put that all over my head and I start flat ironing my entire wig. So this is what the wig looked like after it was completely straightened. Originally, I was going to do my hair to this side part style, but obviously, as you can see in the beginning of the video, I ended up changing it. Also, side note, if you see me dancing or talking to myself, I was listening to music the entire time I was recording this video. Before my next step, I cut the lace off the wig. I start with three sections and then I go in with the razor because it's not like a perfect line across how I cut the wig I kind of used the razor to go back and shape it the way I want it to be shaped after I finished cutting the lace off I realized that the corners by my ear did not stick which almost always happens when I'm doing lace front wigs I don't know next time I just need to like OD with spray or glue when I'm doing that part of the wig but I basically just pulled hair down where I was going to do the baby hairs by the ears and I sprayed on top of the baby hairs and on top of the, the lace and I went back with the elastic band, blow dry that area again on both sides and let that sit for a minute. After that, I go in with the lace tint and the lace tint is kind of like a mousse so you want to make sure that you shake it up real good before you use it. The tint does stain, so you want to either put the lace tint on a Q-tip and then apply it to your hair or use gloves and then you can use your finger to rub it through the lace. For the next step, I just part my hair to the side as if I'm doing a side part, pull a couple of strands of the hair from the front of the wig to start my baby hairs. When I cut the baby hairs, I use a blade instead of scissors, that way the cut looks more natural and not so choppy. Then I go in with my pencil flat iron and I curl the baby hair that I just cut. This just helps the swoop of the baby hairs. So after you apply the mousse and you start to swoop the baby hairs with the edge brush, that curl from the pencil flat iron makes it so much easier. 
once I got the baby hairs to lay in a position that I want them to lay in, I go in with a little bit of got to be free spray because if you use too much, you'll notice that the hair starts blending in with your skin too much. I use the same steps to curl the baby hairs by my ear and then use the same exact formula for the other side of the wig. And now for the fun part, styling the wig. I do not like installing the wigs, but I do like styling the wigs. So right now I'm just pulling the hair up to get that ponytail. Every wig is made differently, the tracks lay differently, so you kind of just have to play around with the hair and the ponytail until you get a ponytail without the track showing. As you can see, I parted the bang out and made sure that that covered the tracks that were kind of showing in the front. After that, I go in with the wax stick and apply that to the front of the ponytail to make the hair lay down straight. This wax stick, by the way, actually smells really good. I wish it came with a bigger bottle because I would use this over some of the other brands that I have. Once you got all of the hair laying down in the ponytail with the wax stick, you can go back with a hot comb and straighten the hair. It lays a lot flatter once you put heat to the wax stick. After that, I just use a regular skinny scrunchie and tie my hair up the way you would your own regular hair. I then take a strand of hair from the back of the ponytail twist it and add wax stick to it that way it stays neat then I wrap that around the ponytail so that it hides the scrunchie and use a pin to keep it all in place I do my final touches with the hot comb and then I use the flat iron to add a little bump in the back of my hair to the bang and to the ponytail Because this wig was so bright, I went and got my regular face powder and I basically applied that all over the front of my hair to make the shade of the orange a little bit darker. All right guys, so this is the final look. She kind of came together in the end. If you're brave enough to try this style, I'll have the wig details in the description box. As always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys at my next one.